Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Today in this video, I'm talking about the candles and wax melts I want to burn through in the month of August. So if you like those types of videos, keep on watching. Um, and also, I have empties videos monthly, so if you like those types of videos, you can watch those. I have a playlist for them. And what else did I want to say? Any of these candles or wax melts I talk about, um, if you watch my next month's video of my empties, you can see little mini reviews of them. And I also have more when I'm burning videos on a playlist as well, if you like these types of videos. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I have four Bath & Body Works candles I want to get through this month, and I'm going to talk about three of them now. The first one is one I started last month in July. It is Hawaiian Hibiscus. This is um, a floral candle. It's my first floral candle ever, and it's not bad. Um, I don't mind it at all. I think it's quite nice, actually, for, for a floral. Um, it says it's a, a hibiscus with jasmine and coconut. Um, yeah, it's not that bad, and it's burning really, really well. If all Bath & Body Works candles burn like this, we'd all, we would all be really happy. <laughs> so, that is Hawaiian hibiscus I want to get through. I'm, I'm going to put it all the way back here, because I never have room in my videos, so I try to keep enough space here. <laughs> uh, the next one I want to get through, I also started in July. It is ma mahogany coconut. Um, I don't like cologne scents. I've burned many cologne candles, believe it or not, and I just don't like them at all, I've come to realize. So I'm just trying to get them out of my collection, basically. So I had bought this one earlier in, I think it was like May or something. Um, this is just mahogany and coconut milk over soft sandalwood. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and get this one out of my collection if I can. Okay, and then the third one is one I just recently picked up last month. This is Raspberry Citrus Swirl. Um, this one is Ruby Red Raspberries, Fresh Pressed Citrus, and Passion Fruit Juice. Um, this one smelled really, 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 really good on cold. It was like a creamy raspberry lemony smell. Um, unburning, it's just um, not something to get excited about. Uh... Yeah, I started burning this one also last month, if I didn't say that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's nothing exciting, so... Um, I wouldn't repurchase this one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it this month, since it's, um, a good summery candle. Okay. And then I have two Yankees. Well, I have three Yankees that I'm going to burn this month. Well, at least I'm going to burn them. I don't know if I'm going to get through them, but I know that these are the candles that I'm going to be using this month. This month. So I have three of them. I'll talk about two of them now. This first one is a large tumbler, the 20 ounce, from Yankee Candle. It's in the scent White Chocolate Apple. I started burning this one uh, in July as well. Um... It was, like, filled up to here. You can see the first line of it. Um, this one has been throwing really, really well for me. Um, I, I mean, not really well. I mean, it's, it's medium for a Yankee, so I'm talking, like, a five or a six. It was poured in 2015. Um, yeah, it's a good, I wouldn't say chocolate apple scent. It's more of a, I just get a green apple scent from this, mainly. Yeah, I just get like a tart green apple, or red apple even, so, um, yeah, I'll keep burning that one in the month of August. When I think of August, I think of like, fairs and such, such things, so I have that one. And then the second Yankee Candle, um, I've just made more of a dent than I thought I've had in it, so I'm just gonna throw it in here and see if I can actually get through it this month. This is the Yankee Candle, um... The Peeps Marshmallow Chicks. Um, this one, the first burn was really strong, and then you can see I'm halfway through, and um, it's not strong at all anymore. I think the last time I burned this, I could smell it, which was nice, but um, I don't know. It's just a like cake batter scent to me, like with like a marshmallowy cake batter scent. It's all right. It's not my favorite, but if I can burn through it, the rest of it this month, there's only like half left. Um, That'd be cool. And then this next one is a Goose Creek. My first ever Goose Creek. I want to try and, um, 
I want to burn one of these and see how they do. It is their, I think this is their large, I don't know, it's their 19 ounce jar. It's two, it's two wicks for the World Passport Collection, the Goose Creek Enchanted Paris Candle. Um, of course it's not going to focus, but there we go. Um, I don't, this one, uh, is a cotton candy scent. It's like a raspberry sweet, like pink sugar cotton candy scent. It's really nice and I like it a lot on cold. So, um, when I have all these like vanilla candles going, I'll go ahead and pop the, like, um, light this one up and, uh, see how this one does. I'm really excited to try it. I know I won't like get through that one at all, but I at least want to, um, try out a goose kick candle. It, it'll be my first one, so. <clears throat> okay, and then these last two I saved for the last. It's the Bath and Body Works and the Yankee Candle. Um, I'm sure they're going to bring out this Bath and Body Works candle this winter, so I wanted to um, try it out before this winter and see if I want to get any more. It is the Joy Peppermint Marshmallow. I had bought I bought this um, last Christmas, I think, during their SAS sale. I've heard that the burn on these are really bad, but... Um, or like on this specific candle from last year. Um, but I want to at least light it up and see how it goes. It's, um, vanilla marshmallows and peppermint joy. <laughs> so whatever that is. Um, but yeah, I just want to try it out. And I figured while I have this candle going, I could also try out this Yankee candle. This is, uh, North Pole. It's their small tumbler. Um, the North Pole is a, like, a sweet vanilla scent, so they smell really good when you smell them together, so I figured they'd go perfectly together. If this was not enough, uh, peppermint, I could light this one up, but they're both peppermint vanilla-y, so I figured they could go well together. So I want to, like, try those out this month, so I'll probably, um, burn them a little bit. Alright, guys, now we're on a wax melt. Um... I'll start with um, Walmart Wax. I have three Better Homes and Gardens clamshells I want to get through. The first one is Apricot Rose Water. I have one cube left. This one's alright. I wouldn't get it again, but um, it was nice to try out. It's like a fresh um, floral, a fresh floral scent. Um, yeah, with like a fruitiness to it. Um, I have it. I use it in my bathroom, and it's nice. This next one is Pink Sugar Berry. I have two wax cubes left of this one. Um, and this is just a really, I really liked this one. I actually would repurchase this. I tried to and they didn't have it when I went last, but I would get it again. It's a really nice, um, hold on, let me smell it. Oh, it's so good and it's strong. It's just a really good sweet berry scent. I really like it. It's perfumey, but it's so good. And then this next one is Sugared Melon Kiwi. I have one cube left. This, um, I would repurchase this again. It was already a repurchase. I got a huge clamshell of it, like the bigger size of this one. Um, it's a, the best, um, kiwi berry scent you will ever find in a wax melt. Um, I highly suggest this. If you can find this, hoard it. It is hoard worthy. At least in my opinion. Not in everyone's opinion. It's a really good, sweet, um, kiwi watermelon scent. It's really nice. So, I want to get through those this month. And then I have um, a Goose Creek Wax Melt, which um, <clears throat> was nice to try out some Goose Creek, wa Goose Creek Wax Melts. This is like one of my first um, ones. This is in the scent Blueberry Limeade. Um, these are what they look like. I'll open up for you. Um, I have two more, yeah, two more chunks of this one left. Um, I just want to get through it. Um, a little tip for these Goose Creek ones. I've known, I've seen, or I've experienced that putting them in a hot plate warmer or even like a light bulb warmer that you can get it from like Walmart. Uh, they don't perform as well. They're not as strong, um, as they are as, um, as in a tea light. Um, but they don't last very long in my opinion, so... Not sure how I feel about the Goose Creek wax melt so far. At least this scent doesn't last very long. I have four hour tea lights and by like the three three and a three hour mark they were like I couldn't really smell it that well. So and then the last three wax melts I want to go through are vendor wax melts. 
<clears throat> the first uh, two I will talk about is from Country Lane Keepsakes. Um, she, I'm sorry for the crinkling. She is an Etsy. She has an Etsy shop. Um, I'll link it in the description box, and I'll actually um put um one of these in frame that that has her uh, what Etsy Etsy website. Um, sorry for the crinkling. Okay, so here. If you guys want to pause the video, you can stop it, and I'll hold this up for you guys. Um, Country Lane Keepsakes, there's her Etsy, Etsy website. Uh, she does, she sells her, these are uh, paraffin wax cubes. Um, she has a whole bunch of stuff, stuff you can just um, buy it, like it's uh, ready to ship, ready to go. You just put it in your cart and buy it. Um, she sent me a bunch of samples, you get like around like six to eight samples um when she gives you your wax i bought like um five little wax bags of her stuff and it's all right it's not my favorite um i'm not sure if i recommend her stuff yet i'm not bashing her or anything but um i just haven't melted enough of it yet to see but uh this first this first one here is sugar milk i wanted to try out a sugar milk scent um and i don't like it it's not strong, it's more of just, all I smell sometimes with her wax is just the wax undertone smell. Um, it just smells like wax, really. That's not very um, strong on the fragrance, I guess. Um, but this sugar milk is just like a um, sour milk. Not, I don't want to say sour because it's not like unappealing to me. It's just not very good by itself, so I usually mix it with stuff. And this... Um, there's only two of these little pie things left, but there was like five or six of them in here. So this is a bigger vat bag at one point. Along with this one, these are these um, little like brick things, and there is like six or seven of them in this bag. And these run these bags, they have like four ounces of wax or less, I guess, and they were around four dollars. This next one is, it's fruity cotton candy. Um, this one's alright, but when you uh, melt it, it's more of a, I want to say like a fruity pebble cereal smell, not like a cotton candy smell. So, I'm not too crazy about it. I just kind of, it's not like a cotton candy uh, scent, basically is what I'm trying to say about that one. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. 12 minutes in. If you stayed this long, congratulations. <laughs> um, this last one is from Front Porch Candle. It is the... Uh, Mac Apple Pink Chiffon Blue Slushy Cotton Candy. Of course, it's not going to focus. Uh, okay, there we go. Mac Apple Pink Chiffon Blue Slushy Cotton Candy. It was poured on the 8th of July. And this is what it looks like. It's just a blue tart. Um, I haven't had uh, good luck with my front porch wax lately. Um, just because, I don't know, it's probably user error. Um, just not melting it in the right device or it's too just too soon but she sent her wax only needs like two two weeks cure time but um now it's been a month and I just melted one of hers and it was not strong at all so I don't know what I'm doing wrong <laughs> but I'm gonna try this one out I think I'm gonna put it in a, in a tea light melter this time and see what kind of result I get from that instead of a hot plate warmer um this is just a really strong apple scent that I get on cold um I guess you get a little bit of the blue slushy, but no cotton candy or pink chiffon, really. Just like a strong, apple-y blue scent. <laughs> okay, guys. So, that's the stuff I want to get through in the month of uh, August. And I also have um, a candle burning that I'm going to pause and show you guys. That I also Another one that I want to get through. So, hold on for that. Okay, guys, this is the last part, I promise. So, this is a blueberry twist candle from Bath & Body Works that I have burning. Um, it has peony wicks, so I have it in a holder on my dresser instead of, like, down below on that table. So, I just want to show you guys this. I have, like, half of it gone, and it just ha it has a really bad burn. So, it's just uh, sitting up here, and I'll probably get through it this month as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I love making these videos. Um, yeah, so... Thanks for watching. Bye.